Hey everybody and welcome to Keeping It Spiritually Simple and I am here with a friend by the name of Angela Willow and last week we did a zone technique therapy session and she's here to just share what her experience was. So welcome birthday girl. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> um, so yeah, I am really, really grateful for the connections that spirit has been bringing me. And this gift of you is one of those um, to assist on this journey. We are so up close and personal to ourselves and it's beautiful, but I know that when I'm working on a piece of art and I'm too close, I can't quite see the whole picture. And so I really find the interactions of the, of the beautiful souls that are orbiting my universe are here on purpose with intention of all walking each other home in this divine way. And I had never heard of what you were doing. And I'm really open and I trust the beloveds that spirit puts before me and spirit gifted you to me. And so I really am very grateful. That's a message from my soul to your soul mm. for showing up and being beautiful and sharing what you are here to share. So thank you for that so much. And when I was having it done, I'm really good at surrendering. I'm good at surrendering to the experience, but I'm not necessarily trained in my mind of clearing and letting that go. So I had a lot of wandering thoughts. That didn't pertain to anything you were doing during the session. That's all honesty. But it's okay. Because I was still allowing you to unite in my field and be there. So afterwards, I was really surprised at to what you were doing. Because like I said, I, I didn't really know this work. I've not heard of this. And so... Um, afterwards, when you began to share what you were doing and the way that you described going through my spinal cord and the connections in there, and then also my organs and, and I'll save the last one for last because it was really a big deal to me. Um, you were not just fixing me, fixing me, you were being with me and, and nurturing the parts of me that brought awareness to you that said that there was like an alert that they needed some more love and attention. And being a doula myself, I'm an end of life doula a transition doula I'm just there for people who need comfort and ease and compassion. And I felt like in a way you were that very similar energy of the doula to my vertebrae and my organs and the energies that are surrounding those things. Mm. And so I could relate to the way you were speaking to me. And it was almost as if spirit had you speaking to me in the way that I speak, because I offer love to people in a very similar fashion. Is fashion the word? I don't know. Way. It's relatable. You were relatable. And you mm. spoke in a way that I understood it was the language of compassion and the language of love. And so I felt very supported. The, the biggest thing, and it's so wild, 
was when you spoke about my pineal gland and you spoke about this protection barrier that was around it to keep me safe from persecution. I had a storyline with a fella who didn't accept my doula ship and what I was doing with end of life. That was the story that was brought into me. And I instantly was like, well, I can't be with you. I can't interact with you because this is what, who I am and what I do and what I, my gift to the world. And so if you don't accept the gift that I bring to the world and you don't accept me and I felt persecuted because we're on different spiritual wavelengths. And then it brought me back to almost a decade ago when I went through my divorce, my first divorce and I saw a storyline of persecution playing out when I was leaving because he didn't understand my spiritual walk and the journey and the awakening that I was going through and these things that were coming out of me. And they, they, when you start opening up, sometimes it's just so messy and you don't, it's not like I'm this perfectly articulated witch or spiritual leader or whatever. I'm a, I'm a baby in my remembrance. I'm a toddler. I'm tattling around with all these things coming through me that I don't know what I'm doing with. And then I'm testing this and I'm experimenting with that. And I don't even know, but it's like freaking out my partner because I was deep and thick in that matrix world of being, trying to be like the Stepford wife and the perfect mom and all this stuff. And I know that's a lot of story, but it matters to me because it all comes into this now moment of like that person rejecting me was threw me into self-acceptance and knowing that there was more to me that was ready to be seen, that was ready to come out, that is ready to stand proudly on two feet on this earth thanks to the beautiful gravity. And be here in my wholeness and my fullness showing up as a, and, and cool because, you know, witch is like this self-actualized, independent being in communion with the earth. Okay. Yeah. Like I get to be all of that. And so I feel like when you, when you gave permission to that part of me, I had given permission to that part of me just like a day or two before that had all just unfolded. And I was like, this is who I am. And I'm going to show up on this planet as I am. And I was ready for it. But there was still some physiological things guarding my body is guarding and protecting. And there's some things happening that are protecting me from this. And so I feel like you were like, massaging that part of me and dueling that part of me that was ready to be open but needed assistance because again I'm too close I can't see that I didn't I didn't even have it in my awareness that that was even happening in my own awareness so I appreciate another set of god eyes to mm. be able to see into me deeply and assist because I do not believe we are doing this all alone. And when that, op when, when you expressed that opening up and to see that as a flower, I have not been able to stop focusing on that ever since like that. I loved all the other stuff in my body that you held me with, but that was so big to put to rest forevermore, forevermore across all my timelines that it is okay to be here and now. It is okay to show up as I God intentfully birthed me to be. 
and to bring my love and my doulaship to the world and my compassion to the world. And I'm not evil. I am not, I'm not here to harm anybody. I am here with a divine, beautiful purpose. And so I feel like now, as I imagine the top of my head opening like a flower and being exposed that those gifts can just pour out of me and I can begin to witness in my life this, what that means, what that means in my, and watching my gifts open up and being open to that. So that was really, really beautiful. And then I just received last night this most beautiful video on the cerebrum fluid, the God stuff, the holy anointing liquid that comes through the back and pours down the spine. It's in our marrow. It's in everything that we are, this gift of God, this honey and I was thinking, wow, like that's all connected because as I open in my pineal gland and my vertebrae, and as that's able to open, more of that is going to be able to be received within my body. So I feel like the way the order of the things happened, I had to have that story. I had to fly back into myself and then you came in and you assisted and then you opened it up and you made it possible. And then I watched that video about the cerebrum fluid three times. I'm going to watch it more because it just, it was so beautiful and it activated me. And I remembered that I have this chrism that flows through me mm -hmm. a God chrism of God so that's about my experience as best as I can probably articulate it I'm learning how to be more in tune to my body I wish I was more so I could give you more on that but these are all things that I'm learning and uncovering as I'm building a relationship with myself. And I can only be honest and transparent because that's how I roll. And I'm not going to sit here and pretend to be some all healed, almighty and all the things with all in all the areas. I'm just not, I'm where I'm at on my journey and, and getting in tune with the body is a really important thing I think for all of us but I'm realizing how important it is for me as I'm learning I am not the body however I respect the body and I'm really grateful to this to this magical avatar that has keys that works in tandem to my soul to my spirit and is this like Oh my gosh, I just see rooms after rooms inside of this temple. And I just feel like now is my time to mm -hmm. open these doors. Old doors are closing. New doors are opening. There's new hallways. There's new keys. And these are all within this, this beautiful temple, this temporary temple. So I'm really um, grateful for this temple and the experience to be inside of it here on earth and to unlock so much and to be able to um, just have this experience. So thank you for being an on-purpose guide in, on time, in time, as I'm unfolding so beautifully. Mm. Angela, thank you so much for sharing that. Um, I went from being so humble and teary eyed to feeling exhilarated for your experience. I was like, Oh my gosh, that sounds amazing. Because, you know, I, I never know where sessions will go, you know, 
it's, I can do certain things within the session and then it always unfolds because guides and teams come in or it triggers memories within that person. And it sounds to me like you had a lot of things going on then. I know the first thing you had said to me when uh, you had opened your eyes was, wow, I just went to places I wouldn't normally go. And my question was, well, did you go there because you felt safe or you were expanding and you were like both? like both. I went to both and how I could be of service better. And then the the whole story about the persecution came up and we went through that. And, and it sounds to me like now your pineal gland and the other adjacent glands that work beautifully with that and the spine are, are blossoming and, and, and you're receiving so much more physically, mentally, spiritually, etherically because all these lives of things that we've gone through we're here to merge them and purge them and to be in oneness with our divine self and it can be it's the, every session is different for everybody and everybody's walk is different for each other but you just said that so eloquently that i'm just like and this was not pre-rehearsed you guys we just went hit record wow really Yes, <laughs> really, really, because, you know, when I would do like, say, a zone technique therapy, I tune into the body, whether you're physically on my table or we do it by Zoom, right? And then there's six zones and they'll, I, I'm guided to whichever zone could use some activation. And so yours was the glandular system, which is energy, hormones, the pineal gland, pituitary, pancreas, adrenals. Um, it's your liver, it's so many things in the list and they're associated with cervical, thoracic, lumbar and sacral vertebrae. So I will go in energetically as the guides show me and begin to work on those areas. And then they'll take me into this whole different story about what's unique for this person. And they'll give me messages and so on and so forth, which is exactly what we exchanged. Um, and so I'm so glad that you were feeling so much better. But the most profound thing for you was having this, all these triggers come together. And then it's almost like that was almost like the icing on the cake or the last straw on the camel's back that put it all together for you. And now you're, you're moving in a groove in and getting ready to have your solar return tomorrow. Yes. Yes, yes. The timing of it all is just so divine. I'm in awe by divine time. I have so much trust due to divine time and the proof of it in my life. And, you know, Ram Das is the one who said where I got, we're all just leading each other home. He was an end of life doula too. So somebody that I, you know, appreciate very much his journey and it's just very true. Um, we aren't alone in this. We are here for each other. All the aspects of, of God. And when we open ourselves up, whenever we have fear or worry or anything, I think for me, like just trusting over and over and surrendering and being present. And it's, it's funny because we all speak into this. We speak into this all the time, right? We hear it repetitive, but it's like integrating it and literally being inside of it and fully receiving the gifts of presence, the present in presence. And then boom, there's an interaction like, you and I have to set this up. I didn't, I didn't know. I didn't know. I was just open. I, I just remain in a state of openness and trust. And you were on the other side of that. So I, it just is my own evidence because as humans we're always looking for where's the evidence of what it is we're doing is we're in this human experiment 
Yes. And are. our remembrance, we're just in this science experiment. And it's funny because the people that are in orbiting me, again, I have a lot of masculine around me and they're like very sciencey and they're using their life to like prove the evidence of their life. And, and, and they're really into it like that. And I'm so appreciating this energy around me. And I'm like, it is, we are all living this. Like it's, it's an experiment. It's God's experiment of expressing and, and feeling God's self. God is all divided up into all these different personalities in order to have this experiment. So to me, like, God's the one who had to find out and we're just helping them all. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. I don't do a lot of explaining of what, what a session's going to be like. I, because I don't like to pre-program anybody. I want them to just be in the time that they're with me. Let me hold space. And then you tell me just like when we click this thing on, I said, nothing rehearsed. We're just going to go on and just boom, yeah. do it. Because that is how, the whole thing about you find your inner software system and how to start navigating and all the different pathways and, and different things that you came in with. And, and you find this dashboard of, of amazing tools that you didn't know you had and you start blossoming and opening and expanding beyond just the actual session. So I'm, I'm happy that you obviously would, before I said, let's do the session, you obviously, because spirit said this is who you have to ask and there were certain names that came up and I said okay well I'll put it out there and offer the session and so obviously you are already being in the trigger transplant mode and then we didn't talk before our session at all you just went straight into it and then that came up and that is such a profound um, unfolding for you and this is why I, I love doing what I do, just like you love doing what you do. I was a birth doula and pregnancy, postpartum delivery massage therapist. Wow. Uh, and I later did some death, dying and bereavement. Um, but I never really went into that side of it. Um, and so I'd like to be able to include your link in the description um, if anyone's in your vicinity or if they could just call and talk to you about some things because um, we need to be there as, as, as life comes in and life exits, but you know, it's stuff like this that's in between that we're learning our experiences from. So thank you so much. And I for had just your served. heart. What? You. I had just served. I had just served when you and I had our session, I had just came out of being bedside and being with this soul and it's always a spirit. It's always a lesson on the interactions of, of realms. So I had just, he had just fully crossed. Mm. So that was really quite amazing time because I'm in a portal at that time. Whenever I'm serving, I, I go in and I have, it was, it was so beautiful. It's so, and every one of them are, are so different. I don't have, I don't have a website yet. That's something, um, I am a little slow on the business side of things. It's not my strong suit. <laughs> so I don't have that. People just get a hold of me. I'm kind of very like old school right now that could change and I'm hoping it will. Um, well, you could just give me a, an email or whatever your best contact is so that, you know, if someone wants to explore that, you know, through you or, or maybe understand it a little bit better um, and maybe I love get a referral from it. Yes, girl. I yes. We I are here it. to, we are here to support each other because we're just, we're, we're the same cells. We're just living in a different physical container. Yep. So the more, the more we do for someone else, the more we're receiving and the more that we're receiving, the more we're doing for someone else. And then, yep. so this is this whole merge and purge stuff that everybody wants to trip over and keep it so freaking complicated. 
It's I not. I know. It's I not. I like complicated. It's, no. it's got to be simple. Low, no maintenance. No maintenance. And that's my rule of thumb. And just go with the flow and be adaptable. Yeah. This rigidity isn't serving. These old programs and rigidity is not serving anymore. It's not serving mm -hmm. a soul. Uh -uh. Yes. No, it's awesome. Yeah, I would love to. I would love right. to. And I'm open to learning more too. So all the connections that have to do with um, serving souls through transition is really awesome. Mm -hmm. It's great work. And I'm really, I'm really happy that I'm fully stepping into it and not, there was, I wouldn't have had that interaction with that person if there wasn't something within me that was denying myself. So mm -hmm. I was in a state of denying myself, which is why I was, which is why I received that mirror and it made me fully dive in to that role. And I am so glad that I am because when I went and I served, I realized how effortless of a place that is for me and the woman, his daughter who called me in for the work, she was like, you do realize that there's a very large percentage of the population who can't even be around the dying. And I was like, really? Like that felt really weird to me. Mm -hmm. Like I, it, it didn't feel, it doesn't, for me, it doesn't feel abnormal to be with a soul that's crossing or to be with a body that is decomposing. That doesn't feel weird to me. It feels mm -hmm. normal to me it feels like the way it should be and it feels yeah. like where I should be so when she gave me that perspective I was like I really am meant to I really am meant to be doing this because when it when something that you love feels like breathing mm -hmm. as effortless as breathing mm -hmm. that is your work that because it, it's not work it's like it's ease it doesn't it's just your role it's just a role it's just my role and mm -hmm. I was like wow so I was really happy to receive that knowing as well with all of this. So all of this is uncovering and by, by being able to be confident and showing up and not have to worry about being persecuted in the world, I am going to be supported by spirit. All of our gifts are supported for being who we are and being here loving it and loving sharing it is so awesome. So I'm just even having this conversation and talking about it has me super excited about going out there and talking about it more with people. So mm -hmm. definitely get a hold of me. I will give you my email address and my phone number. So I'm, I'm, I'm open. Awesome. Well, I'll definitely put the link in the subscription, in the description. <laughs> Listen, guys, um, thank you all so much for tuning in and keeping it spiritually real and keeping it spiritually simple. And so on top of liking, subscribing and sharing and leaving a basic comment, I want everybody to take a moment and wish Angela a happy solar return in those comments. And if you're interested in a session, I am going to continue to do them through March at $65 a session. And uh, that link will also be in the description as well. So Angela, hang tight. I'm just going to say goodbye to everybody. And uh, you say goodbye too. Bye, Bye everybody. Thank you. <laughs>